I am the Holland Phantom, and for today's video, we're going to be having a live battle from the base set through fossil format. On one side, we've got the Mewtwo and Electabuzz deck going up against the Magmar and Electabuzz deck on the other side, with both lists created by three-time world champion Jason Klesinski. So we'll see which of these two decks can make the victory today. But before we begin, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and to my Twitter account at Holland underscore Phantom so you don't miss out on any new Pokemon TCG content. And now with that out of the way, let's get into the battle! And here we go, the battle has started, with both players flipping over their starting Pokémon. On the Mewtwo side, we've got Electabuzz as the active Pokémon, and on the Magmar side, we've got Magmar as the active Pokémon. The Magmar side is going first, with the player activating Built to draw two cards and then they bench a Scyther and their own Electabuzz. And now the player attaches a Fire Energy to their active Magmar, and there's the attack Smoke Screen, hitting for 10 damage into the opposing Electabuzz. And over to the Mewtwo side's first turn, the player attaches a Lightning Energy to their active Electabuzz, and now they activate Computer Search. They discard a Mew and a Psychic Energy from their hand to search the deck for any one card to add to their hand. Let's see what they get. There's a Chosen card. Is it going to be another Trainer card or a Pokemon to play down? Let's take a look. Okay, it's going to be an Energy Removal coming down now. Getting rid of the Fire Energy from the opposing Magmar. And here comes the first Mewtwo coming down to the bench. And there we see Professor Oak discarding the player's hand to draw seven new cards. This might have been the card that was searched by the computer search. Okay, the player's going to be digging through their deck some more. Let's see if they get any more Pokemon to play down or some more trainer cards. Okay, nothing else is played. There's the attack Thundershock. The player does have to flip a coin to see if the attack goes through the smoke screen. That was a head, so the attack did succeed, but the following coin flip was a tail, so no paralysis. And now both Pokemon have taken 10 damage apiece. On the Magmar side, the player quickly attaches a fire energy to their Magmar once again. And then immediately attacks its smoke screen, playing no other cards. So Electabuzz is now taking 20 damage. On the Mewtwo side, a Psychic Energy comes down to the Electabuzz. And then attacks with Thunder Punch. Here we see another coin flip. That's another heads. It does go through the smoke screen. And the second coin flip is also a heads. So Thunder Punch hits for 40 damage. Magmar is down to just 20 HP remaining. Some pretty quick turns going back and forth. Now over, over to the Magmar side. A Lightning Energy comes down to the benched Electabuzz. There's another smoke screen. Electabuzz has now taken 30 damage. And on the Mewtwo side, Mewtwo gets its first Psychic Energy. And Electabuzz attacks with Thunder Punch. Here's a coin flip. Oh, but they finally get a Tails. It does nothing. Okay, on the Magmar side, a Lightning Energy this time comes down to the Scyther. Scyther does need three colorless energies to attack with its Slash Attack. And now the player activates their own energy removal, getting rid of the Lightning Energy from the Electabuzz. And there's the fourth Smoke Screen. Electabuzz is down to just 30 HP remaining. Let's see if the player has any lightning energies in their hand. They activate another computer search, discarding a Mewtwo and a plus power. Searching the deck for any card. And let's see what they get. Will Electabuzz be able to attack this turn? Like I said, it does need one more lightning energy. Oh, but the player is going to be activating a scoop up to pick up their active Electabuzz back into the hand, discarding the psychic energy. And then promoting Mewtwo. The Electabuzz comes back down and then Mewtwo attacks with Energy Absorption. Getting two Psychic Energies back from the discard pile to equip onto itself. And now this Mewtwo is fully powered up. On the Magmar side the player plays no cards. Immediately attacking with Smokescreen hitting Mewtwo for 10 damage. And then on the Mewtwo side they play no cards. <laughs> There's the attack Cyburn. The attack does go through the Smokescreen. And Mewtwo takes their first prize card as they knock out the Magmar. On the other side, Scyther comes into the active spot. The player needs uh, double colorless energy. Oh, and speaking of, there it is. Scyther is now fully powered up. And now they activate an energy retrieval, discarding an Electabuzz from their hand for two basic energy cards from their discard pile to add back into their hand. And it's going to be two fire energies. Do they have any more trainer cards or Pokemon to play down? No, but they can attack. There's a slash attack hitting Mewtwo for 30 damage. It is within KO range of another Slash Attack on the following turn. And now the Mewtwo player benches a Rattata and a second Mewtwo. And it looks like the player is trying to decide what to do next. They're going to be using an Item Finder, discarding a Mewtwo and a Gust of Wind. Okay, now they can get back a Trainer card from their discard pile. And it's going to be the Energy Removal to get rid of the Double Colorless Energy off the opposing Scyther. Okay, so this might slow down 
The Magmar player. There we see another Professor Oak. Again, discarding the hand to draw seven new cards. A lot of draw power coming through from the Mewtwo side. They just have to be careful not to deck themselves out. A Lightning Energy comes down to their bench Delectabuzz. And now Mewtwo attacks with Cyburn, hitting Scyther for 40 damage. So if Scyther doesn't get a double colorless energy or retreat, it is going to be getting KO'd. Okay, but there we see a Fire Energy coming down to the Electabuzz to fully power it up. So it looks like Electabuzz is going to be taking the KO against Mewtwo. It jumps into the active spot now. And there's Thunder Punch taking the KO. And here's the coin flip. And it's head, so Electabuzz does not take any recoil damage. Both players have taken one prize apiece. The Rattata comes into the active spot now, acting as a pivot between turns because it does have the free retreat cost. And now the player activates Bill to draw two cards out of the deck. A Psychic Energy comes down to the Electabuzz to fully power it up, and then jumps into the active spot. It's going to be Electabuzz versus Electabuzz. There's the Thunder Punch. It's going to be a Tails that time. Electabuzz hits itself for 10 damage recoil and hits the opposing Electabuzz for 30 damage. Over to the Magmar side. Another Electabuzz comes down to the bench. That's a lot of Electabuzz in play. The new one now gets a Lightning type energy. And now the active one attacks. Thunder Punch. And it also gets a Tails. So both Electabuzz have taken the same number of, uh, sorry, the same amount of damage. 40 damage apiece. But the one on the Mewtwo side does have the advantage right now. A Psychic Energy comes down to the benched Mewtwo. And now another Electabuzz comes down. There's the Thunder Punch, taking the KO against the opposing one. Here's the Coin Flip, and it's head, so no recoil damage. And now the Mewtwo player takes her second prize card. On the Magmar side, Scyther comes back into the active spot. And it does get the next double colorless energy, so the Scyther is fully powered up. And it should be able to take the KO against this Electabuzz. There we see another energy retrieval, discarding a Professor Oak from the hand. For two basic energy cards from the discard pile, the player chooses a lightning energy and a fire energy. So they're going to be able to fully power up their Electabuzz on the following turn. And there's a slash attack taking the KO. And the second prize, both players are tied, four prizes remaining apiece. There we see Rattata come back into the active spot now. Oh, and here we go, Rattata does get a lightning type energy, it does need a plus power to take the KO. Okay, but it's not going to be attacking. The player activates Super Energy Removal to get rid of all the energy off the site there. And now Rattata retreats to promote Mewtwo. And there's the attack, Energy Absorption, getting back two Psychic Energies from the discard pile. Mewtwo is now fully powered up. And now on the Magmar side, there we see Bill to draw two cards. A second Lightning Energy comes down to the Electabuzz. Coming back into the active spot now, it's fully powered up to use its Thunder Punch attack. And there it goes, hitting Mewtwo for 40 damage. So Mewtwo is within KO range on the following turn. Okay, now the Mewtwo player benches their next Electabuzz, and now they attach a plus power to Mewtwo. Followed by Energy Removal, getting rid of one of the Lightning Energies off the opposing Electabuzz. There we see another computer search, discarding a scoop up and Mr. Fuji from the hand for any card from the deck. And what is it going to be this time? Okay, the player activates it, revealing a Professor Oak to discard their hand to draw seven new cards. They are quickly burning through their deck to search for more resources. And now they activate Energy Retrieval, discarding an Energy Search from their hand, searching the discard pile for two Lightning Energies to add back into their hand to start powering up their Electabuzz. Okay, now Mewtwo gets a Lightning-type Energy. Okay, it's going to be for the Super Potion, discarding the Lightning Energy and healing all 40 damage off Mewtwo. It's fully refreshed now. And there's Cyburn, hitting Electabuzz for 50 damage. Mewtwo has turned things around now. On the Magmar side, the player activates Professor Oak of their own, discarding their hand to draw seven new cards. They have to start drawing into some new Pokémon. The two they have in play are, f are pretty damaged. And 
and see what they can get. It's going to be another bill, drawing two more cards out of the deck. There we see the second lightning energy coming down to the Electabuzz. And an energy removal, along with a super energy removal. Okay, here we go. Getting rid of one of the energy off the Electabuzz, and all three of the energy off of Mewtwo. Mewtwo can no longer attack. The player needs at least one psychic energy in their hand. And there's the attack, Thunder uh, Punch. No, sorry, Shock. Thunder Shock. <laughs> Hitting Mewtwo for 10 damage and also inflicting paralysis. Okay, the Mewtwo player simply attaches a psychic energy to their Mewtwo and then passes their turn. Mewtwo comes back to normal and now the Magmar player benches a Ditto, which then gets a fire energy. Ditto has a Pokemon power called Transform. When it's in the active spot, it completely transforms into a copy of their opponent's active Pokemon. And any type of energy attached to Ditto cancels a rainbow type energy. Okay, it looks like I missed a couple things. A gust of wind came down to bring up the opposing Rattata, and then Electabuzz got two plus powers, followed by Professor Oak to draw seven new cards. The player benches a second sight there and then attacks with Thundershock, taking the KO against Rattata and taking their third prize card. Okay, there we see Mewtwo coming back into the active spot now. A lightning energy comes down to one of the benched Electabuzz. And then Mewtwo attacks with energy absorption, getting back two psychic energies. This Mewtwo has fallen behind because it lost so much energy. Okay, back over to the Magmar side. Okay, and speaking of Magmar, finally the player benches another one. Magmar then gets a Fire-type energy, and there we see... Oh, it's going to be the same combo again! Energy removal and Super Energy removal. Getting rid of the energy off the Ditto, and all the energy off Mewtwo, once again slowing it down. There's another Thundershock hitting Mewtwo for... 10 more damage, and once again inflicting paralysis. Okay, the Mewtwo player activates an item finder, discarding Bill and Super Potion to search their discard pile for another trainer card. It's going to be the Scoop Up. They're going to be electing to pick up their paralyzed Mewtwo to promote their Electabuzz. Yeah, this Mewtwo did not do a whole lot. Mewtwo comes back into the bench. The active Electabuzz gets a second lightning energy, and there's a Thunder Punch attack. Taking the KO against the opposing Electabuzz. And there's uh, heads on the coin flip. No recoil damage. And now both sides are tied. Three prices remaining apiece. The damage Scyther comes into the active spot now for the Magmar side. A second Magmar comes down. Another player activates Energy Retrieval. Discarding Bill to get back. Uh, two Fire Energies from their discard pile. Okay, let's see what they can do. A fire energy comes back down onto the Ditto. And Magmar comes into the active spot now. It attacks with Smoke Screen, hitting Electabuzz for 10 damage. Electabuzz now get, needs to get a heads on a coin flip, so their attack can go through. Okay, there's the Thunder Punch, here's the coin flip. And it's Tails! The attack misses. Okay, back over to the Magmar side. A second fire energy comes down to the Ditto. So it's powered up to copy one of Electabuzz. Sorry, both of Electabuzz's attacks. But Magmar attacks once again with Smokescreen, dealing another 10 damage. The Mewtwo player plays no cards, going for the attack again. And it's going to be another Tails! Another miss, giving Magmar another turn to set up their board. A third energy comes down to the Ditto. So now it's fully powered up to copy Mewtwo's attacks. Another smoke screen comes through. Electabuzz has taken 30 damage now, and now the Mewtwo player attaches a psychic energy to the Mewtwo. There's the attack. A third Tails! Still no damage coming through from the Mewtwo side. Okay, no cards are played on the Magmar side. Smoke screen once again hits Electabuzz. No cards are played on the Electab sorry on the Mewtwo side. There's the Thunder Punch. And fourth Tails! <laughs> this Electabuzz has been getting really terrible luck. Okay, on the Magmar side, Magmar finally retreats to promote their Ditto. Ditto now transforms into a perfect copy of Electabuzz. And now it attacks with Thunder Punch. Here's a coin flip, and Ditto gets Tails. It takes 10 damage recoil, but more importantly, it takes their fourth prize. Okay, the next Electabuzz comes into the active spot now. And it's going to be getting a double colorless energy. The player... Okay, they're going to be copying their opponent's move, 
activating energy removal and super energy removal, discarding the energy card of their own Mewtwo, and all three energy cards from the Ditto. And now the player activates their Gust of Wind to bring up the damaged Scyther to take the KO against it. There's the Thunder Punch, taking the KO against Scyther, and here's the coin flip. And what do you know, another Tails. Electabuzz takes 10 damage recoil, and they also take their fourth prize card. On the Magmar side, the next Scyther comes into the active spot, and now Ditto gets a double colorless energy. Ditto is promoted once again, becoming a copy of Electabuzz, and now it attacks with Thunder Punch. Here's a coin flip, and it's going to be a heads that time. Electabuzz does take 40 damage, it's down to just 20 HP remaining. The Mewtwo player benches another Electabuzz and now activates Energy Retrieval, discarding a Psychic Energy from their hand to get back another Psychic Energy and a Lightning Energy from the discard pile. The next Electabuzz gets uh, Lightning Energy, and now the active one attacks with Thunder Punch. It gets another Tails, hitting Ditto for 30 damage and itself for 10 damage. Because Ditto is a copy of Electabuzz, it still has 30 HP remaining. And now the Magmar player activates Energy Removal, getting rid of the Lightning Energy from the Benched Electabuzz. Now Ditto attacks with, uh, I think it was Thundershock that time. Taking the KO against Electabuzz. And the Magmar player is down to just one more prize card. Okay, the next Electabuzz comes into the active spot now. It gets Lightning-type energy to use Thundershock. There's the attack declared. If Ditto is paralyzed, it will cancel its Pokémon power reverting back to its normal Ditto form with only 50 HP, and that's exactly what happens. Ditto is now KO'd because it was paralyzed, and now both sides are tied, one prize remaining. Scyther comes into the active spot now for the Magmar side, and the player activates a Gust of Wind to bring up the Mewtwo on the bench. Mewtwo does need two energies to retreat. Okay, the active Scyther gets uh, double colorless energy. Oh, but the Mewtwo player decks out! They activate an item finder, discarding a super energy removal and a build, searching their discard pile for... Okay, for a Mr. Fuji! This might help. With Mr. Fuji, they can shuffle the Electabuzz and its lightning energy back into the deck, giving the player two more turns. Mewtwo gets a psychic energy, attacks with energy absorption, getting back to psychic energy so be fully powered up. But with only two turns remaining, can this Mewtwo take the final prize card? Let's see what happens. On the Magmar side, Fire Energy comes down to the Scyther. And there's Slash Attack, hitting Mewtwo for 30 damage. Mewtwo is down to just 40 HP remaining. They draw one card. Attack with Cyburn. Scyther is within KO range, but the player can just retreat into a Magmar to stall out the next two turns. And they can win by deck out. Okay, but they are going to be activating a Item Finder, discarding two cards for... What's it going to be? The plus power! Okay, they don't want to win by deck out. They want to take the final prize card. There's the slash attack taking the final KO, and there's the handshake! Magmar is your winner! So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.